On June 14th, 1969, six-year-old Dennis Martin was on an annual Father's Day camping trip with his father, grandfather, older brother, and some other family members. Now, Dennis here and his older brother were trying to play a trick on their father. They decided they were going to hide behind some bushes, and as the adults walked past, they would jump out and scare them. And with so many places to hide, how could you possibly blame them? Now, of course, the boys were six and eight years old. Their father knew exactly what was going on. After all, he had seen Dennis and Doug hiding. It was not a big deal. And during the five minutes or so that they were out of sight, he never really actually took his eyes off the bushes where he had seen them hide. But when they called the boys back, Dennis did not appear. Dennis's disappearance would spark a two-week-long search and rescue operation involving hundreds of volunteers, the National Guard, and even up to 72 Green Berets. Dennis would never be found, but the strange communications practices of the Green Berets, as well as a set of footprints that seem to have been ignored, have led many to ask the question, is this a cover-up?